how you need to be careful on um, who is looking out for you in mass media. Um, local media, you know, your so-called local news stations are um, in a dec um, in a ratings decline. Um, they're contracting. Um, people aren't turning to your your station anymore. And I did a rant on meteorologists um, because when I was freaking out in Portsmouth, New Hampshire about a month ago they um, they, um, they, they were hyping up the storm and it caused mass freak out on me because I was in Portsmouth my family's back in Merrimack and I'm not going to be able to help them out get them to pick me up for um, the, that Sunday following the storm because I'm supposed to, you know, ch and, and we weren't sure what was going to really happen. It turned out what what I thought was going to happen, because we booked the vacation literally like the day before. My five day vacation was literally to book the day before because for long, for, for long reasons. And so, um, you know, people aren't watching the news. I mean, for, if people are media literate, they'll know where to go. They'll know how to get on the digital platforms of the various local stations if they still want to. But here in New Hampshire, WMUR TV kind of um, has so much con media control. It's it's beyond it's beyond my comprehension that um, that, that that it hits multi generations. Um, there are people like my youngest cousins on my paternal family two to nine, and then people like my 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 grandmother. Turns to night. It's it's unbelievable. But what I'm saying here is Melanie Black, who's a meteorologist at WHGH TV, um, is only it's only been here since December, and um, um, it's really funny because Hysel Martinez, who apparently she replaced, she was you know she she came in and Hysel left later that month to go at WLS in um TV in Chicago. The ABC O and O, or should I rather say, she had joined the uh, what did the what did um um the anchor say? Cheryl, what's her name? I'm blanking on her name right now because it's recorded really early in the morning. She joined the Disney cast member or something like that from from the scrappy bullfinch place to being a Disney cast member um, because she joined there in January, if I'm not mistaken. I have to look at my mini big news guy stuff. But anyways, as I kind of digress here and just never get to the point of anything, um, Melanie Black, um, um, <laughs> um, she has to understand that she's on social media and she's got to engage with her audience or she chooses to engage her audience. And she really hasn't um, engaged with me probably because of my title and my news gathering at mini fig news guy by the way and um there's the a bomb i suspect she is very uh cl um clear about her affiliation with the special olympics which for anybody that's involved with it it's the narcissistic uh favorite uh breeding ground okay i'm not i can't speak if melanie black is a narcissist um I'm not in her brain and I'm not gonna go that far on a public figure but um, on Saturday April 1st no joke she um, I tuned to the, um, the family was away and um, for the morning so I turned the, the big screen on to channel 7 because I think I was I think I yes I think I I don't know how I got to channel 7 because it wasn't on 7 when I Turn it on, but anyways, this is the you know the nine. Um, this was about nine fifteen in the morning, and she's loud, high, and just speedy. And this is a weekend morning newscast, and I couldn't interpret anything that she said. So I posted a selfie of me trying to cover my ears and and and, and eyes, but I couldn't do the eyes because you know black um you know, um, was just, just, uh, just high strung. So I tweeted something along the lines of, um, she's so hot. I had to be careful 
I knew that line. I mean, I was thinking this under a lot of distress. I, I, I made sure. I said she's so hot she'd break the VU meters. High pitchy. She's also very pitchy from how I can interpret her. And again, my perception, my reality is invalid because I'm autistic, even though I didn't say it um, in, that, in that instance. And so she got back to me, um, literally, so, so, so I was being a little sarcastic and I took a picture, um, at 9.28, they were going towards the, the, the brink on the bumper and, um, I saw a Dunkin' coffee cup in the, because the weather office and the, the display and you're actually rebuilding the, the set right now. So how much of it is... A uh, green screen and from a you know recorded who knows I don't think the weather center is in that green space only the anger space but anyways she I I made a little reference on it and then she had the audacity to tell me that um you I uh, keep trolling on me and blah 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 with a emoji. And then I wrote back and tweeted back at her and, and basically said something and I didn't really want me to look it up right now. It's it's too early in the morning for me. It's not even nine AM and I'm recording this, but I basically call her out for exploiting um people with her special um Olympics. I should have been more prepared. I apologize about this. I'll make it up at the end so I'll make a kicker forgive me you know what I find trolling using developmentally delayed people for your own gain full stop so yeah, um, yeah. This 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 person is, uh, um, and this is why I'm going to tell you what you post on social media is, um, what you post on social media as a public figure working for local media and it's a declining um, viewer. I mean, it's I live in the the ninth largest DMA in designated market area. What Nielsen defines markets on TVs, not humans, actually just just an FYI. And the markets are declining as well as the audience. So when you have a declining TV install base plus viewers not tuning to your station, including digital platforms, you really should be on your A game. And Bl Melanie Black's stupid not she's she, I don't know if she's as shallow as Mitch Michaels who happened to work at WHDH 30 years ago too but she's flirting on that line of disregarding a good number of people on the spectrum that either watch local news or the weather and the only thing that I know she knows about special needs is the Special Olympics which again is a breeding ground for narcissists to exploit people like me I'm just more outspoken and um, and I find that just highly offensive and as a result anytime I see Melanie Black you, she's she should be lucky that I'm not throwing a Nerf ball on my screen and I hope he, I flip the channel fast enough this is how bad the media industry is and if you are affili affiliating yourself with Autism Speaks Special Olympics and you're just using us for your own you know claim up because I don't think Melanie Black's gonna settle in Boston she's gonna jump to another DMA in, in a few years I mean this this market I think part of it in I I last year long there was so much turnover in bought and I don't fucking care about Manchester WMER TV's license it was supposed to expire on April Fools and guess what the April Fools is you're still on the air fuck them and um, anyways, um, I'll tell you why I hate WMUR TV another day, but we'll leave it for another day. And so anyways, <laughs> there were a lot of people coming and going in the Boston market in 2022. And I was just like, why am I watching this? Because it's just nobody, everyone's working for the company, so they don't understand that there are people that are watching you. 
and they're trying to develop a connection for our own narcissistic gain. <laughs> Come on, we're all self-centered people, right? Just some are labeled and slandered as such. And, um, and yeah, I just, I, I just, I, I, I just feel extremely disgusted that you have this kind of people, um, you know, serving our community, not serving themselves. And the way that I've seen the, the, her, what she posts on her platform professionally turns me off as a viewer personally. So yeah, do I want to say that Melanie Black is an ableist? That's too strong a word, but I will say this. She, she doesn't understand her audience. And I don't know if WHGH is trying to get more closer in par with WSVN, their sister station that kind of they've been separate um, identities because the markers are very different. I don't know if they're trying to go more in Miami than they are for Boston in terms of speed. Maybe that's why Melanie was hired in the first place. I don't have any insight of what go goes on at the station. Maybe that's why. If Even WSV and the meteorologists aren't <laughs> high strong. And I'm not kidding about this. I will stand to my dying day that she's so loud fast pitchy so the viewers cannot really hear her so boycott Melanie Black let her just let her you know, she's not welcome in my house she's a an apparent I can't confirm this enableist screw her that's all I have to say thank you for watching